Okay. Um, I just got home from work, and before I eat dinner, I thought I'd come and make this quick video. Uh, normally, I don't throw people under the bus, or I shouldn't say people, wig companies. Let's say wig companies. I don't throw them under the bus, but I have something that kind of makes me mad, and I'm going to make a video about it. So, uh... Okay, so, I received an email from, I'm just going to read these emails to you because I don't have them written down, but this started on March 12th, so this was a, several weeks back, three weeks back, two weeks, three weeks, something like that. So, it was from ebonyonline.com. And I'm sure that if you wear wigs, hair pieces, extensions, and weave, and all that kind of stuff, you know what ebonyonline.com is. So, it's a hair site. Anyhow, on March 12th, they emailed me. Blah, 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 blah. We selected you. Inspire women. Blah, blah, blah. In exchange, they wanted me to do a review for them. So, in exchange for your appreciation and your efforts, we will contribute the hair. Want me to put this on my YouTube channel? Uh, so, anyways, a long time ago, I ordered something from them, and my order didn't come, and it didn't come, and it didn't come. And I'm talking this was a long time ago; it could be three to five years ago. My order didn't come, didn't come, didn't come, didn't come. Finally, I emailed them, and they reimbursed my money because whatever. Uh, so I was remembering that, but I'm like, dang, if they're going to send me a free wig, who, who doesn't want to do a free wig? Hmm? Who doesn't want to have a free wig and do a review on it? You know what I mean? Anyhow, so I emailed them back right away that same day. And I said, I would love to, I said, I would love to do a review on my YouTube channel. I said, let me know what the next step is. This is the same day. Uh, so that same day, they emailed me right back and they said, great. Thank you for reaching out to us. We are excited to be working together. My name is beep and I will be working with you. We can communicate through email or through phone, but first I would need for you to send me your contact information, your YouTube address and your address and your name and your phone number and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So this is the same day. So the next day, I tell them, yes, I'm interested. I tell them my name and I give them all that stuff that they wanted, my address and yada, yada, yada. So that, the next day, so now this is March 14th, they asked me to visit their website and to pick out some selections and I'm a little confused at first, so I email them back and I say, I will do this. I said, but which ones am I selecting from? This is the 14th of March. That same day, they email, she emails me back and says, you can select from all of our synthetic wigs or crochet hair or braiding or weaving hair. We are not looking to do any of our human hair wigs, which I figured that anyways. I mean, they're not going to give you a free human hair wig. So I email back the same day, March 14th. Okay, thank you. And what do I do with my selection? Do I email it to you? The same day, March 14th. Yes, kind regards. So get into the little heart of this in a second here all right so I did what she said I went on the website and I picked out four wigs two colors for each wig this took me almost all day I did this while I was at work and the reason it took me all day is because 
Ebony Online does not necessarily cater to Caucasian women, so I had a very difficult time picking out colors. Uh, them long dark roots do not look good on me, so I thought to myself, maybe I'll go out of my element and I'll try some browns or maybe some reds or some auburns or something like that. So it literally took me all day while I was at work. I was on my breaks and every time I got a chance to sit down, I was going through, back through and writing some down that looked interesting, but then maybe the, the, that it wasn't a good color, so maybe, eh, scratch that. But it took me all day to pick these four wigs out and to pick out uh, two colors because in the email she asked to pick two colors so then they would make the decision out of my list which one they were going to give me and which one of those colors they were going to give so it was going to be just one wig and one of the choice of color I picked out for that wig so I went ahead and I got my my four choices and so I got onto the email and I I wrote them all, email, you know, typed them all out, which ones they were and what the two choices of color were for, for each one. And then I had said, uh, I put the preferred color first and the second choice after that. So mind you, this was all on the 14th of March. So I waited. I waited. And I waited. And I waited. On March 19th, I said, I emailed them and I said, I sent the wig choices. Do you still want me to do the review? So I waited and I waited and I waited. And I waited. Mm, shady. No response. So I emailed them again a couple days after that. And I said, hello, I'm wondering if you received the selection that you asked me to pick out and if you would still like me to do a review. I have not heard back. Thank you. And I waited. And I waited. And I waited. And I didn't hear back. Shady. So on March 22nd, at uh, before I went to bed that night, I sent out another email and just said that since I haven't heard back from anyone, I'm assuming that uh, the deal is off. So, yeah, I think that's extremely shady. I guess I don't understand how we were communicating back and forth, back and forth, you know, within a two to three day span. And now we're talking many days have gone by and I haven't heard nothing. I think that's pretty rude. I think that's pretty cruel. I think you led, if, it, if it's not me, actually I, I could give a rat's butt right now. I mean, I really don't care. I buy my wigs. If somebody wants to give me a wig to review, I'll do it. But I think that's pretty shady why you would do that. Don't sit there and say, pick your colors out, pick your wigs out, and we're going to send it to you and you can do a review for us. And then that's it. You don't, I don't even hear back from them. So if you like that wig company, awesome, but they're shady. Shady. So... I wouldn't buy nothing from you anyways. Bye. So shady.